Hello everyone and thanks for joining. So we are going to start our the new playlist about the Pi Spark and we are going to cover each and everything from a basic to the advanced level in this particular playlist. Okay. We are going to see multiple interview related questions. We are going to see multiple practical scenario. We are going to see multiple project each and everything we will try to cover in the Pi Spark playlist. Okay. As, as of now in this particular first video we are going to see what is Spark and then we will move further. Okay. So what is Spark? Spark is nothing but a, it is a general purpose in memory computation engine, computation engine. Okay. Now let us try to understand what is general purpose, what is in memory and what is computation. Okay. One by one. Okay. When we are saying a general purpose, right? What is general purpose? purpose okay so general purpose means what actually was happening before coming to the spark right whenever you had to perform any kind of the operation suppose you had to perform a data cleaning okay for that you were having a separate tool okay pig this is one of the tool was available okay suppose you had to write any kind of the query okay so for that what actually we were using we were using a hive okay suppose you had to use any kind of the ml operation okay then what actually you will do? You will use a Mahot that is one of the another library. Similarly for any kind of the operation there were multiple tools was available. Okay. But when the spark came into the picture right. With the help of the spark each and everything. Each and everything. Every operation. We can perform. We can perform. Or do in a spark itself itself okay so each and every operation whatever is required to do we can do in a spark itself for taking example suppose you want to perform a data cleaning you can do in a spark itself if you have to write any kind of the code you can use a spark sql if you have to perform any kind of the machine learning application for that also you can use a spark ml lib okay so for each and everything you do not have to depend on the any kind of the tool in a spark itself you can perform all the kind of the operation that's why we call it as a general purpose okay now let us try to understand the next thing computation what is computation means okay computation means what actually was happening okay when we'll try to compare with the hadoop okay most of the time people try to compare with the hadoop versus spark okay but we do not have to do the comparison between the hadoop versus spark Okay, the Hadoop provide three components, three components. Okay, if you will see Hadoop provide three components. One is first is the HDFS. HDFS that is for the storage. Okay, that is for the storage. Okay, and the second is the resource manager. Resource manager and the third is the third is the map reduce map reduce. So this map reduce in a Hadoop we were using a for the computation. If you had to execute or if you had to process it for the computation we were using the map reduce in the case of the Hadoop. Okay. But when we say Spark is a Spark is a general purpose in memory computation engine. Right. So we do not have to compare the Spark with the Hadoop. We had to compare with the Spark with the map reduce because spark is mainly used for the computation only so that is the thing we have to remember okay spark we generally use for the computation not for the other purpose okay so that is the thing okay even you can use a spark with the hdfs you can use a spark with the other resource manager okay so that is kind of the thing we have to remember okay even if you want to use spark uh, with uh, hdfs you can use that if you, you want to use any other storage service suppose amazon s3 okay that also you can use it okay any kind of the uh, storage you can use that but for the computation we generally use a spark okay so that is the thing we have to remember and that is mean by the computation okay okay now the third thing is like in memory now let us try to understand what is in memory in memory is nothing but a it is a ram you have to understand by the ram okay for taking example spark does spark does all computation all computation in in memory in memory that is nothing but a ram only okay and that's why spark is faster than faster than map reduce map reduce and this is the this is what people say 
okay now let us try to understand how spark is faster than the map radius and how actually the process actually happens so first let us try to understand with the map radius okay for taking example in the case of the map radius how actually was happening suppose you have a data that is available in a hdfs suppose this is a hdfs location and suppose this is your multiple map radius task is available okay and how actually the computation happen let us try to understand okay so this is the hdfs location hdfs location where you are the file is available and this is the multiple map radius task is available mr1 mr mr2 and all okay now in the case of the map radius how the process happens first it will try to take a input from the hdfs that is the one time of a input task okay once it will process again it will write into the hdfs okay in the same case of the map reduce two tasks again it will take a input again it will write okay so multiple time input and output happens in the case of the map reduce okay and input and output multiple time when you are hitting the disk right and that is a very slow process okay so that why that's why that's why it is a slow as okay now let us try to understand in the case of the in the case of the spark how actually it happens in the case of the spark how actually it happens suppose you have a multiple uh, jobs okay multiple tasks okay so what actually will happen first time it will take a input okay it will do a computation and it will write into the memory only okay second time again it will not hit the hdfs okay from in in memory whatever the output right again you have to process again it will take the it from the second job only okay suppose this is the v1 okay okay after doing the process it will not write to the hdfs okay what actually it will do it will write into the in memory only and again it will try to process once it will complete all the operation then only it will try to write it to the hdfs location okay only two times input output disk operation happens in the case of the spark but in the case of the map reduce multiple time we hit into the disk that's why it is slow i hope you got it okay that's why spark is a faster than the map reduce so that is the thing you have to remember okay so what is spark spark is nothing but a, it is a general purpose in memory computation engine you have to remember okay and we have discussed about what is a general purpose in memory computation and all i hope you got okay so in next video we will try to see more about this we will try to understand more about it and we will try to see how actually we can start with the pi spark and we will try to understand how actually uh, each and everything the rdd operation the data frame operation data set operation everything we will try to do with the help of the practical only okay yeah that's it in this video thanks for watching and please do like and please do support it. thanks